Hi, welcome to Crafty Purple Dragon Channel. I'm going to try something different. And I'm going to record over the top of an existing drill with me whip and whip chat thing, whatever we want to call them. Uh, so in the background, well, you'll be watching me drill the whip that I was doing when I recorded the video. And I'm now recording this commentary, which isn't a commentary, over the top at a later date. And for those of you who don't know, I've started crochet again. So whilst I'm chatting, I'm also going to be crocheting. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing quite a few things because I've got a series of tag questions to answer and the tag is called this or that tag. So the first set of questions is makeup. Well for a start I don't really wear makeup. I was never a big wearer of makeup when I was a kid. Well, I'll say when I was a kid. When I was a teenager, slash in my early 20s, wasn't really big into makeup, didn't wear a lot. Uh, and most of the time, generally don't wear any makeup these days. A, I don't go out anywhere really that would require or that I feel it would be necessary to wear makeup and two I just don't have any I, there's no point me buying it because I wear it that infrequently it's just wasted by the time I come to wear it again it's you know all clumped up and uh, unusable so makeup isn't really a thing for me and that is going to pose a problem because my daughter's wedding's coming up in November which I should wear makeup for really I suppose so I think I'm going to have to get somebody to do my makeup for that because again there's no point me spending money on um, stuff makeup for one occasion that's then just going to be sat in my makeup bag which I probably haven't got anymore I think I think I gave all my, my makeup to my daughter years ago I don't even think I've got a makeup bag anymore uh, so it's just yeah that'll be a waste of money so uh, this is a bit of an irrelevant question to me but I'll answer it anyway based on what I used to or what I would use. So the first question is blush or bronzer? Uh, I kind of used bronzer as a blush. So I suppose the answer is bronzer. Um, lip gloss or lipstick I don't really have any lips I have the thinnest lips imaginable so for me there's no point wearing lipstick I tried over the years uh, with doing this you know doing various things to try and make my lips look bigger and just ended up looking like a clown so gave up with the lipstick and just put a bit of I wouldn't necessarily say lip gloss it was more along the lines of um, what is it called chapstick maybe a coloured chapstick 
just to keep moisture in my lips. Eyeliner or mascara? That shouldn't be an either or question, should it? I mean, you wear eyeliner and mascara. I suppose if I had to choose, it would probably be eyeliner. Uh, and again, this next one, foundation or concealer? Don't you use concealer and then use foundation over the top? Uh, I never really had to use concealer, so I guess my answer to that would be foundation. Neutral or colour eyeshadow? Well, that would depend on the circumstances. The time of day, the event, you know, that I was going to. If it was uh, like a daytime event, more businessy type, then I, I would go for neutral. Um, if it was like a posh do out somewhere, and then I would probably wear colour coordinated to my outfit props. And the next one, pressed or loose eyeshadows. I've used both. I find pressed lasts longer and are less messy. So I would go with pressed. Brushes or sponges. Generally I've used brushes. I do see the appeal of sponges for certain things, um, but I have tended to use brushes and I guess they're what I'm most familiar with. Okay, next section, nails. OPI or China Glaze? I, I don't really know what either of those are. Are they a brand or a type? Uh, mostly now I use gel. Uh, the make is gelish that I get done at a local salon. Long or short? I would have the medium length. Because long nails don't last particularly long on me. Also, I am on occasion trying to learn the guitar. So long nails aren't a thing that you can really have when you're trying to play guitar. Acrylic or natural? Natural. I have had false nails in the past. Um, but you know they do tem tend to damage your natural nails so I tend to avoid them really brights or darks I would go with brights I like bright colours vivid colours yeah definitely brights Flower or no flower? I don't really know what that means. Uh, so I'll go with no flower. Okay, body. Perfume or body slash? Splash, splash, sorry. Perfume or body splash? I would go perfume. I've discovered a great perfume company that do their own versions of, um, you know, posh perfume. Uh, they're called Eden Perfumes. They do a close approximation. Obviously, you're not going to get exactly the the same scent um, but my 
fave at the moment from them is number 15 by Liz Earl. And it's 15 quid a bottle plus £3 postage, I think. As opposed to, I think, about 45 or 50 quid. So they're a lot better. And I think, actually, I prefer it to the Liz Earl one. Lotion or body butter? Lotion, I find body butter is too greasy for me. Uh, it lingers around too much and I haven't got time to be sitting around letting it soak in. Body wash or soap? Generally body wash would be my preferred. And at the moment my favourite is Olive Garden, I think it's called, from Lush. That's my preferred body wash. Lush or other bath company? Generally Lush. Okay, next section. Fashion. Jeans or sweatpants? <laughs> sweatpants. Uh I'm all for the comfort, all for the comfort. I mean, these days, denim fabrics, you know, you can get them with a bit of stretching. You can get jeggings, which, you know, are very comfortable but still look like denim. Uh, but I would definitely prefer sweatpants or, as we call them in the UK, jogging bottoms. Long sleeve or short? I prefer a short sleeve most of the time or a three quarter. If I have a long sleeve, they tend to get sort of pushed up into more of a th three quarter position anyway. It's just more practical and it keeps it out of the way when you're, you know, doing stuff or washing your hands or whatever. Sleeves can get in the way, so. Dresses or skirts? Dresses for me. Uh, and I would say dresses over skirts, over pants, over leggings, over anything else. They're my staple go-to clothing item. Dresses because you just put one thing on and you're done. You don't have to worry about coordinating <laughs> Um, yeah, it just makes things a lot easier. Stripes or plaid? Now, I think plaid is an Americanism for tartan of some sort. If I had to choose between those two, I'd go stripe. But really, for me, the choice would be patterned or plain. And I'd usually go patterned. Flip-flops or sandals? Usually I go flip-flops. Toe-post flip-flops. Um, because I have problems with pain and getting down to my feet can be quite difficult so for me it's easier just to have something that you can slide your feet into without having to get down there to do up fastenings uh, scarves or hats scarves I'm definitely a scarf over hat kind of person don't really wear hats don't think they suit me studs or dangly earrings dangly earrings would be my preference studs uh, I find are uncomfortable when I'm sleeping 
but dangly earrings have to be these earrings that you can get now that have a lever back so that they don't like unhook themselves and fall out of your ear heels are flats flats definitely flats um, and that's because I have mobility issues and problems with pain in my feet I would tend to go for the flats however I have recently just bought a wedge sandal type shoe and they're really comfortable um, and I don't feel like I'm walking in heels at all because obviously they're built up at the front as well so I'm quite I'm wearing them in at the moment I've got them on <laughs> um, and I'm quite liking them at the moment I was trialing them out to, for something to wear at my daughter's wedding um, and I think these might be a goer uh, oh necklaces or bracelets I have both but I would tend to wear bracelets uh, although I go in phases I have been wearing bracelets recently but I'm back to not wearing any bracelets at all and necklaces I tend not to bother cowboy boots or riding boots my preference would be riding boots um, or I guess that's what we over here would be a Chelsea boot maybe Uh, jacket or hoodie I'd go with jacket I think although I don't really I don't really wear either I tend to wear I tend to use Either, well, I have a fleece that isn't a hoodie, so I suppose you'd call it a jacket. Or I have um, shawls or wraps of some of some description. Forever Twenty One or Charles Rousset? No idea. Neither. Abercrombie or Hollister? no preference Saks Fifth or Nordstrom say what I have no idea what what those three options were really I'm guessing they're designers and I'm not really into designer clothes so those are questions that are like mean nothing to me <laughs> sorry about that okay next section is hair curly or straight well I've had both my hair is naturally curly I tend to let it dry naturally when I wash it so it naturally has a curl um, but there are occasions where I have straightened it on a regular basis including when I used to use my motorbike to get to work instead of trying to deal with helmet hair I would just accept that my hair is going to be flattened so I would straighten it bun or ponytail ponytail in preference Bobby pins are butterfly clips. Butterfly clips. Hairspray or gel. I wouldn't really use either. My preference would be mousse. Long or short. Well, if I could grow it long, I would have it long. Uh, so I have my hair at the length that it tends to max out at, which is sort of mid-length below my shoulder light or dark 
uh, well, there are occasions when I've had... My natural hair colour is brunette, although now it, my natural hair colour is heading towards grey. Uh, I've been all kinds of different colours, but my colour preference is a shade of purple. Side sweep bangs or full bangs? Well, in the UK we call it a fringe. I do not have a fringe, so no fringe. Up or down? Preference would be for up, for the most part, unless I'm going out, like a night out, and then I would probably wear it down. And the final section is random. Rain or shine? I would say shine, as long as it's not too hot. Summer or winter, though, out of those two, my preference would be summer. Fall or spring, well, we call it autumn over here, but my preference would be spring. New life, new growth, things starting to warm up if you're in the northern hemisphere. Chocolate or vanilla chocolate? East Coast or West Coast? Well, that refers to the US, but for me, in the UK, it's North West England, so West Coast, places like Blackpool, Fleetwood, uh, those type of seaside resorts. Uh, so that's the end of the tag. Uh, this next little clip that I've included here is just me showing you how I've added a foam core onto my light pad. I don't know if you can see but I've put a foam core along the edge of my light pad. Uh, the idea being that this painting that I'm doing at the moment, which is my biggest so far, I'm now right at the very bottom of it. So the painting has to hang off the back. I did have a little board stuck at the top so that it didn't actually sag over, but it's now too big for that piece of board so I just want to show you that I put this foam core to protect the painting while it's folded over and see how that goes if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them in the comments section below if you haven't already subscribed, please click subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload future videos. For returning subscribers, I'd like to thank you very much for your continuing support. And if you haven't yet, if you'd like to head over to Facebook and search for Crafty Purple Dragon... Or you can follow the link down below and like the Crafted Purple Dragon page. That would be much appreciated. See you all next time. Bye.